Hey y'all, Patrick here with Tomon's Guitars and Basses, and today I wanted to check out the bass line for Green Day's classic, incredibly fun and melodic song, Longview. So let's talk about Green Day first. By the time that Dookie came out in 1994, they had already released two albums themselves with a DIY label and completely made their own following across most of California. They were just known as the young, fun, and crazy punk rockers that just wanted to make a whole lot of noise and be super vulgar. Then 1994 came around and their major label debut album Dookie came out, but they needed that one single that would truly show the masses who they are. And so they chose Longview to be their major label debut single. And needless to say, I think the song is still pretty popular almost 30 years later now. You have Trey on the drums going crazy with those toms, especially some of those crazy fills too. Billy Joe Armstrong going crazy on the guitar with the most ridiculous lyrics about just being a bored teenager. And of course, there is bassist Mike Dernst's insanely fun, melodic, and just super catchy bass line too. I feel this bass line is something that just grabs you instantly by the beginning of the song and just doesn't let you go for the entirety of it. Basically the entire song besides the chorus is a walking bass line that continually moves and sometimes trips up your fingers a little bit actually, but it's incredibly fun to really get down and learn. I wanted to use today, I wanted to just be extremely simple and stripped back. Mike Dern is known for a very aggressive, hard hitting pick sound, and that's usually always with a Fender bass as well. While he did have a few Gibson grabbers earlier in the career, Mike Dern's usually been known to have Fenders through and through. So I thought what better way to get that signature Mike Dern sound than using a P bass. So for gear today, I'll be using the Squire 40th Anniversary P bass. That's just simply going into my Boss Bass Katana amp. This is just gonna go directly into into my interface and that's it. Then for the pick I'll be using today, I have a 1.14 millimeter Dunlop Sharp. And then for tuning, we're gonna be a half step down. things I really wasn't expecting while playing the song was the amount of dexterity that you need considering you're always moving and always walking up and down the fretboard. It's incredibly fun, yes, but you have to make sure that you're keeping at the right pace while also giving that same full attack as well. So while I've never really been a huge Green Day fan by any means, hearing Longview and learning how to play it and just going through it again just brought out so much nostalgia from me hearing that song so many times on the radio growing up and just thinking it was so ridiculous and so fun. But that's gonna be it for me today, checking out the baseline for Longview from Green Day. Let us know in the comments below what songs y'all wanna see in the future. And also let us know what Green Day songs have some incredible baselines to them as well. Thank you so much for watching as always. And of course, we'll see y'all next time.